Oh shit, almost died. Colors! YG sucks. I got matches to play. Matches to play. <laughs> I'm joking. Sora stops here. Alright, me and my man Colors are going to commentate. It looks like it's a match between Steel Kangaroo, who I have not had the pleasure of playing, and Bills, who I have not had the pleasure of playing in bracket. Uh, right now, we have the MVP from that last set you just saw. My man Colors. What's going on, man? Hey, Kanye. Happy to be co commentating with you. Dude, I'm so excited. I, uh... That was good stuff, man. I was noticing you catching him with a lot of those uh, full hop PK fires and punishes, and that was beautiful. Yeah, he he caught me. Now you are absolutely right that I got a lot of full hop uh, turnaround PK fire on him sure. quick drawing, but any time that I tried that twice, I did get shielded and grabbed. He okay. would not let me do that multiple times. So he was adapting. Right. I I use I use fair a little bit more. Uh, that, that last stop was, or meaning how I took that last stop with fairing him mid up B, I do not even understand that. I, was I consider myself lucky. Ah, uh, no, man. Throwing out a hitbox while someone's off the edge is always a good idea. I guess that is, yeah. Check out this Ivysaur tech that we're seeing. A suicide. <laughs> no, I was, I, was, I was talking about, yeah, he might start doing it now. He reverses his vine whip and he falls neutrally and he grabs ledge. I would love to see that as a cool way to edge hog while covering the high option. I, I'm sure he knows. I've never seen Steel Kangaroo play. You've never seen him? Never, ever. The uh, only Ivysaur's I've seen play are uh, the Derret and uh, Fatal when he used to play. The, the Derret and him have very good dittos. I believe Steel Kangaroo usually comes out on top, though. Okay. Oh, we're getting right into it on Battlefield. Um, okay. Oh, never mind. That was a flub. The early tech flub on the <laughs> incapability of uh, resetting to the character select. Um, what do you think of the matchup, though? Hmm. Reading this. The, the matchup, I guess, I, I'm going to call it polarizing because Ivy is light and is going to die to Ganondorf's fares pretty quickly. But on the other side of the coin, Ivy has a damn good projectile and a lot of ranged moves, and Ganondorf's going to have an issue getting in to get those setups. I would not be surprised if uh, Bill switched to Marth mid set. Yeah, I feel like the wall out with the Razor Leaf is going to be real. Yeah, it's going to be brutal on Ganon. Ganon is combo fodder of the highest now, degree. Now, wouldn't it be exciting if Fabian figures it out and starts uh, either power, power shielding, shield. as he did there, or even more hype, the cape. The, Dude, I would the, love to see the cape. Yeah, the cape is underutilized. Yeah, I, I think, ooh, he catches it. Scoops, baby. That Cold Stone Creamery scoops. Okay, so uh, right now it seems like... Uh, you can already see that Steel Kangaroo is playing pretty patiently. Yeah. Um, and it doesn't look like Ganondorf likes being above Ivysaur. That's two fallouts with Wiz oh, Wizard's Foot. Shout out to Keith. I, I wish I could tell you guys exactly when Steel Kangaroo showed up, but he is he, uh, he is not a uh, SGOG. He was at the old venue, but only for, I'm going to say, the last quarter of that life. Uh, he was a young Link main in Melee. Oh, no way. Uh, and he came over, and he likes Ivy. And now I remember when he first came over, uh, I could beat oh. him easily with Ness. But my, my point in telling you guys is now I cannot anymore. He's improved extremely quickly and is a good player. Okay. Ooh, he kicks just for you, Colors. Oh, my goodness. And he got the, got the hit on Ivy, too. I love it. Yeah, so in 3.6B, 3.6 beta, Ganon's Nair got nerfed significantly, so it has two active frames instead of six, like, uh, active frames, I believe. Wow. I'm um, Dare, that is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jeez, that's rough for Ganon. Oh, no, not Dare. Sorry. Uh, Nair. Nair. Okay, Nair. okay. Yeah, it, the two kicks don't stay up forever like they did in right. 3.5. Okay. So that hurts his neutral a significant amount. I was like, Eamon, you can't, like, rip apart two-thirds of his gear <laughs> box. What are you doing? Dude, that would be far more than two-thirds, I feel like. That move is scary. Nice hedgehog. Yeah, it's not, just, it's not hype, it's smart, and it works yeah. out great. Man, you got to play to win. Yeah, absolutely. You saw my hedgehog last game. <laughs> yeah, I did. I uh, did. It is, it is of all the characters that to hedgehog, I, I, I believe is the hardest, mm. but you got to use both invincibility, the grab edge invincibility, and the get-up. Sure. Yeah, exactly. So uh, something I saw uh, from some Ivysaur main on Reddit, I forget his name, is that to beat this character, just hold down on the control stick right. and then press buttons. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, that is a constant, constant complaint of Ivy main. Is this, he, every move he has is crouch cancelable. Yeah, and uh, you're seeing Fabian, I think he's, or sorry, Bill's uh, adjusting to that pretty quickly. And he's throwing out a lot of wizard's foot. He's calling him out with it, and it seems like uh, YG Skill King Roots is eating a lot of it. Yeah, that does make a lot of though. sense. 
The back air seems like it's going to cover a lot, make it really hard for Bills to recover from down below. I wonder if uh, Crouch canceled D, like, uh, if he gave him a detail inside of the wizard's foot, could he get a fair? He possibly could, depending on the DI. Yeah. You can DI out from details at uh, decent percentages, but ooh, the fair call out. Um, but if he DI's in, <laughs> there's an adorable little girl next to colors right now. We don't know what to make of it. Someone get their daughter, please. <laughs> 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 nice back air. Uh, Kanye, I'm gonna call it before this game uh, even ends. Bills is going Mars game too. Okay. Put it on the board, write it down. <laughs> yeah, you guys put that in the chat. Ooh! I, that's that was great. He had to charge that for a turn to lay down that 120% damage. 120 damage. That's a Pokemon reference. So if he doesn't switch after the stage choice, I owe you some stream. That, but I, I really do think that's how it's gonna roll come out. You can take a dollar off of how much you're selling your 3DS to me for. $89. <laughs> Shouts out to colors for selling me his 3DS because I lost mine like a Jabroni. Uh uh, when I went with uh, Soul lost his like a jabroni and I went a different route with his he said oh I really want the Mon Monster Hunter pack and that was sold out at the time but uh, anybody that knows me knows that I'm on top of that shit to a ridiculous degree even after I've gotten mine and I got to send him the link and say oh it's go it's open right now go get it Soul nice. and that's how he got his out of boy colors colors just hooking everybody up with his Un immeasurable generosity and Nintendo Nintendo consumerism knowledge. <laughs> he misses with the Vine Whip narrowly. I feel like this stage is going to be scary for Ganondorf just because Vine Whip covers those platforms yep. pretty pretty well. But Ganon has that up air, which will probably do the same thing. Yeah, and obviously what Bells is going for is those quick kills off the side sure. with Bear, and maybe even Bear down throw Bear could could kill here. At, meaning at percent you want to kill somebody at sure. not too far. Right. I'm surprised. That was great DI by Bills. It feels like uh, uh, Bills is playing maybe a little bit nervous right now. I'm, he doesn't. He doesn't play like a nervous player, but I feel like he's missing inputs that he would normally get. Maybe a bit skittish right now. Nice back air from YG Steel Kangaroo though. I'm gonna call him S Kangs. All right, I like it. S Kangs. YG S Kangs. Nice forward air. It's about as even as it gets. That back air coming into play. So uh, uh, with Ganon's recovery, just like with Squirtle's recovery, when he sweet spots, he has that little hitbox that comes over the stage that uh, really plays large when you're trying to edge guard him. I believe, ooh, flower just fell. I believe the flower on Ganon's head was just twice as large because he got two hits. E yeah, dude. What are oh. all these flowers coming down? Oh, the seed bombs? I think it's uh, that when they fall off his head, they fall, off, fall down at a pretty slow rate. A slow speed, oh, okay. so he falls faster than they come down. Gotcha, gotcha. So it's like so raining it daisies. It just looks like it's raining <laughs> daisies, yeah. Oh my goodness. Oh man, I now I understand why he couldn't. He would have died, but I think he had the dam there. Yeah, maybe. After uh, after he clung the edge. I think he's got to grab ledge more and then wait and do that. Yeah, that was excellent. And you're you're absolutely right. Grabbing edge is a huge asset versus Ivy because other characters in general. That's true. Yes. But Ivy's, like, other characters might have other options. Sure. Ivy's pretty limited to her tether. To her tether. And so if you grab it, you're going to force them into yeah, disgusting yeah, yeah, yeah. landing like on stage. Right. Look oh at my that God, flower. That was a gigantic flower. Good. Straight from Grandma's Garden. He misses the solar beam. All right. Seal Kangaroo does not get caught with that uh, that side B. Okay, Gets so that one. Uh, Fabian is kind of telegraphing the fact that he's approaching from ledge with his si aerial side Bs. I'd like to see him mix up with some wave lands maybe, just to mix him up, because it feels like Steel Kangaroo is trying to predict it. Nice back air. That's going to send him at a gross angle, and he's dead. Let's go, Nothing you can do about that. It's getting a damn. Yeah, yeah. Back air really looming large in this matchup, but back air for Ganon also coming in huge. I don't want to start a firestorm, but uh, it, it, Kanye, do you think Ganon has the tools he needs to win this in an even in a in a, a uh, perfect world? I think he has movement options with his B reverse floats and his wave lands that maybe Fabian isn't using. Maybe at, like, are you talking about at the ceiling of this game? I guess that is where we normally talk about it, but what I'm saying is 
both players being even, I can't imagine the Ganon winning. As I say that, Fabian gets a fair and he takes game two. <laughs> the commentator curse of a lifetime. I think that, yeah, I think he can win the matchup. You yep. can clank a Razor Leaf. I don't think it's an even matchup by any means, but yeah. if you play it ten times, I think Ganon maybe wins four out of ten. Okay. Um, if we're assuming they're both equal. Now, uh, shouts out to Frozen in the chat, by the way. That's my dude from FS. Hi, Frozen. <laughs> All right. Got to believe, yeah, I was going to say, he's just going to pick the largest stage available. Uh, there that's it is. A, that's a bright idea. He's going to get edge guards like fucking anything in, yeah. uh, in the stage. Ooh, nice power shield. Oh, very good. He got that first one, if you remember, at, at the first game, and then he's kind of abandoned ship on the power shield train. He B reversed that, so if you don't know, B reversing the side B actually adds distance. I believe it's about a third or a half of the distance wow. of normal side B. Additional. Additional. That's correct. really good. All right, he's hanging on the ledge like a smart, very smart option. Yeah. Ooh. Now, if Fabio can do that constantly, he's going to win. Right. Oh, smart coverage with the Razor Leaf. Ooh. But Ivy can do that at a moment's yeah. notice. Dude, edge guards look so free against Ganondorf. It's and crazy. Between how how free Ivy back air edge guards are and how free Ganon is to edge guard, that is where Steel King is going to excel, I think. Right, but uh, I'm seeing Fabian approach kind of unsafely with some of these down Bs and forward. Bees. Whoa! He's going deep and it he scares him. He scared him away. That was amazing. Yo, the fear is real. It's, I mean, you got Ganon's uh, fair and dare looming over your head. You got to Yo, think exactly. about it. Oh! All right. Dunks. Let's, see, let's even it up. We're yeah, two stocks apiece. Yeah, that was apiece. perfectly worth it. You say that's that's worth for Vils. Yeah, hundred percent. It was close, was it not? Percentage wise, fifty percent difference. Okay, yeah, that's. I think. I mean. My, I think a Ganon will appreciate a shorter game in general, right? Sure. I think that yeah, when when you're losing the matchup, a shorter game allows for more deviation. So I think that was super smart. I think uh, Fabian's just got to approach a little smarter. I know it's tough for Ganon. Ooh, that was a misinput. Yeah. See, like, uh, that that has gotten punished more often than it hasn't, and there it is again. Ivan, wait, are the flowers bigger in 3.6, or is that because Ganon is so large? Why are they so large? I think uh, size has to do with it, but also he's getting hit by a lot of them. That was a smart Whoa, grab. Steel Kangaroo. <laughs> wow, that was amazing. A mid-game changeup like yeah, that? that? Incredible. See, he's throwing that out a lot. Um, something I'm not seeing Bills doing a lot is uh, mixing up with some platform movement, you know what I mean? I think he might be scared of like some seed bombs and some uh, vine whips, but you got to mix up a little bit. Really smart play from Steel Kangaroo sure. there. Nice. That was sick. Dude, the coverage with the Razor Leaf is really looming large. This is a bad situation. Okay. But nope. he grabs him, gives him a hug like, hey, go over there. That was a horrible situation that could have been heartbreaking this for Bills. Death. Ooh, I guess not. All right, up there killed. 17%, nothing. Yep. We're talking about one hit as Ganon. There you go, he's flashing. Oh my god, there's the cutest little girl right next to us. We're going to get back into the match, though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. Steel Kangaroo so far owning this last stock, just shoving Ganon Ooh, towards the go. edge. He used his ledge invincibility really well there to get that side beat. Fair. Oh no, he cho chooses up air instead. Uh-oh, this is scary. Let's see if he mixes it up. Ooh, he does side it. Side B, jab. Oh, Ooh. that was a Dacus, that, I think. Yeah, missed Dacus for sure. <gasps> oh! Damn, Steel Kangaroo, smart play. Can, the, he wins that extremely tight set. Yeah. You see the body spike? That was pretty. Yeah, that's what Ivy's all about. So that's her up air being used, and it shoves her downward. Yep, yeah. exactly. It's a, It was a risky play, I think. Yeah, I agree. Oh, my God. Shouts out to this adorable.